Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be unboxing some older Funko Pops. So let's get started. Alright guys, so before we get into those packages, I actually have something here from Liberty Clothing. Now this is something that we've actually checked out in the past before, and I wanted to open this one up again because they had sent over a sweater, but now they've sent over some other stuff as well. Alright guys, so it says, Hi Tristan, thank you so much for supporting us. Your discount code is TOPPOPS15 for 15% off. So if you guys want to go over to LibertyClothing.com and check this out, you guys totally can. We heard that you like the sweater, so we hope you like these too. Stay safe, have a great week. Thank you guys so much over at Liberty Clothing. But let's check this out here guys, because it looks like there's some pretty cool stuff in here. First thing I found guys, is a Liberty hat. Not bad, let's swap over today. All right guys, so the next thing I found in here is this. Is this a t-shirt? I think it is. Okay, this is nice. It says, make every day count Liberty. Now that is a nice shirt. All right guys, so there's one more thing inside of here and these are what I knew they were sending over. These are the Liberty face masks. Now it's nice because I'm gonna be able to wear these when we go pop hunting and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna pick up some of these for yourself, go over to libertyclothing.com. All right guys, so let's get into these two packages here now. These ones are ones from Pop in a Box. Now they reached out to me to actually send over a couple figures and I was so excited about this because they had so many figures on their website for me to check out and I went to the last couple pages to see if they had any older figures that I was super excited about that you really can't find in stores anymore. And I was really excited with what I came up with because I think there's one of their exclusives in here, maybe a couple newer ones as well, but there is some old ones that you don't see at all. I think I used to see them maybe like 2016, 2017, but not anymore in stores. But anyways, I'm super excited with the selection that I picked out, so I guess we'll just get started with this first box here and see what's inside. All right, so let's see which figures are inside this box here. Oh, okay, two good ones. So we got, um, well, I'll do these one at a time here. Um, so one of the ones we have inside of here is a Pop in a Box exclusive, and this is Lady Deadpool. I really do like their new uh, Pop in a Box exclusive sticker. Their old one used to be just blue and white, but this one's kind of iridescent, and I really do like that a lot. So the Lady Deadpool, this is the only way you can get Lady Deadpool. They have not made another figure of this one. So I think it's really cool that I could pick this one up, and this is another Deadpool one that I wanted for the set. Um, so now I've got the Christmas Deadpool, Samurai Deadpool, uh, Supper Hero, Wizard Deadpool, Pirate Deadpool, like I have a lot of them. Deadpool and Scooter, there's so many different ones, but I thought this one was a cool one because it is the only ever Lady Deadpool, so I thought, why not put this one on the list? Then guys, next up in this box, we got the Mr. Red Legs. This one here is a great one. Um, this is one of the mascot ones for the MLB, and I did want to get a lot of these ones, so I have Mariner Moose, um, I know I have a lot of the new ones, Billy the Marlin. Um, it doesn't say on the back, oh yes it does. Okay, so I think I have, if I'm not mistaken, Pirate Parrot. Um, I for sure have the Blue Jays mascot, which is Jay, I think his name is. I don't remember. There's two different names for him because there was an old one, then there was a new one. Um, we have the Rangers captain. There's so many different ones in the set. It's too bad they don't show them on the back. They just have like their names and then what team they're for. But this Mr. Redlegs is really cool because this was one of the more expensive ones when they first released this one. Then they did them in like an alternate jersey. So that's what this one is here. It's not the original one, but it's still one of those older figures that you don't see very often anymore. All right, so as soon as we cut the tape, let's see. There should be, I think as we had five figures overall, there should be three of them inside of here. There is, nice. All right, so let's start with this one because this one doesn't fit with the other two. I mean, it's not in the same set as the other two. So let's start with this here. This is from the Peanuts line. This is Linus Van Pelt. Now, um, this is an older one back from 2015. So this is actually the same year I started collecting. They made these characters, which I'm a huge fan of. I love the Peanuts ones. I never got too many of them. I think out of this set, maybe I only have Snoopy and Woodstock. Um, what I did though was I got a smaller set. Actually, let me go grab it so I can show you guys. I got this set here. So this is the four pack that was exclusive to Target. Um, and I got this set instead of getting the bigger one. So I never did grab the normal size figures, but I got this for like 20 bucks over at Target one time. And I thought this one was a pretty good set instead of getting the other ones. The only problem was with this set versus getting the normal size ones is that I couldn't get the Snoopy with Woodstock. So it was just Snoopy inside of here. But I am a big fan of these characters. They don't make this size very often anymore. I think this might have been like one of the last times they actually made pops this size. This one was like two inches instead of like the three to four inches just like they make these guys now. So I thought I'd pick this one up just for fun. And I think it was on sale when I got it, so it was a pretty cool pickup. But anyways, guys, yeah, they only had Linus Van Pelt on their website. They might have had Sally as well. I'm not too sure, but I thought Linus was a better one. No offense to Sally, I just I just like the Linus one. All right, guys, so let's get into the next one here. This one, let's do this. This one here is Ricochet Rabbit. This one also came out in 2015. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like 
Is there a chase for Ricochet Rabbit? No, there's one for, well, hmm. I don't know anymore, because there for sure is one for Penelope Pitstop and Quick Draw McGraw. Maybe Squidly Diddly and Ricochet Rabbit didn't get um, chases, but I knew two out of the four of them in this set for sure did. Um, but yeah, Ricochet Rabbit is one of those ones that I used to see at Toys R Us when it was still around in the States, um, and I did just never picked one up for some reason. I don't know why, um, but I just kept skipping it, because I'd always see, I guess, a figure that I wanted more than this one, and I'd only pick up like one or two when I went. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I could get this one for a normal price. And for this being back in 2015, this is still a really great box. I'm a huge fan of a lot of the Hanna-Barbera ones, and it's going to look great with the rest of my set, because now I've got, like, the entire Banana Split set. We've got Hong Kong Fooey, Hair Bear, and I think Hong Kong Fooey came out the same year. Let me check. No, guys, I just grabbed the Hong Kong Fooey, and this one actually came out in 2014, but this is a really great figure. I'm a huge fan of this one. They made two, at least two versions of this one. So there was this figure, as well as the Black Gi suit, as well. Um, so there was two different ones. That one was a Gemini Collectibles exclusive exclusive and then this one here was just a common one that you could find pretty much anywhere um but yeah i'm a huge fan of this one there was a couple different ones in this set there was fred flintstone barney rubble huckleberry hound hong kong fooey and then frankenstein jr and the impossibles i don't know why it was called that entire thing i thought it was just frankenstein jr but they for some reason added the and impossibles i don't know why they did that because i'm pretty sure it just said frankenstein jr on the front of the box but you guys can see him down there and i think what happened with this set was i was just on the edge of this one being retired when i picked this one up and then the huckleberry hound you can still find sometimes it's a little bit harder to find Find, um, but you can get like the flocked Gemini collectibles exclusive one um, but yeah this is still a really great figure and I'm glad that I have it in the set and with the ricochet rabbit here I really do want to get the rest of this set so if you guys know where I can get them because I'm pretty sure I would have picked up like squiddly diddly or Penelope pit stop if they had them on there so they just had the ricochet rabbit on their website and I don't think they had quick drama grout either so if you guys know where I can get the other three totally let me know all right guys so let's do this last one here so this one is similar to the ricochet rabbit where I used to see it all the time and then I skipped it for some reason I don't know why again um, but this one right here is the Lil gruesome so this was the set I guess right after the ricochet rabbit would have been in um, so this here in this set if you guys want to know is secret squirrel Morocco mole Muttley, dick dastardly and Lil gruesome there was also a Muttley that came with or was it a dick dastardly it came with the the, the, the dastardly mobile i think it was the dastardly mobile uh, but anyways it's still a really great pop and i'm glad that i got this one uh, but yeah this is one of those figures that looks really great and one of those ones again like i said that i skipped over but then i wanted to pick up now this happens a lot with me where i i see figures at the stores and then later on i'm like oh, i should have bought that one so this is a really great one that i could still pick up over at pop in a box now pop in a box like i mentioned has hundreds and hundreds of figures on their website you guys can go back probably all the way to 2015 maybe 2014 and find some really cool figures at the back of their website so I recommend doing that if you guys are going to order off there. Look at their figures at the very back of the list because they do have some really great new ones, but they also have some pretty cool old ones as well. Guys, I just wanted to pop in because I do have some intel about those figures. I just got some, it just got some intel sounds dumb though. Does it? No, it uh, sounds amazing. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. All right, guys, I just wanted to pop in because I got some intel on those figures. There was a chase for Squidly Diddly. He was just a bit of a darker purple, kind of dumb, but he still had a chase. And it wasn't called the... Dastardly, I don't even know what I called it. It's called the Mean Machine. Anyways, back to the video. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again to Pop in a Box for sending these over because this is some really great figures that I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while and now we finally can. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Hops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. 
Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.